Yeah. Hello, my name is McDonald. Welcome to Podcast with McNyoni. This one is going to be exciting. I have the legendary um, Shadrick Kalugusha. Um, his name is quite strange because I think, I don't know how strange it is, but I know two Kalugushas, so I always make a mistake. So I hope I'm getting the right one here. Welcome, Shad. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm right, your Shad. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> your brother is... Uh, the name? George Carlos. George, yes. Yeah, yeah. How would I forget? Desperado. Yeah. Desperado. Yeah, yeah legendary guy. Yeah. Well, welcome to this uh, podcast, man. No, happy to be here. Thank you very much yeah. for inviting me on. I've yeah. always wanted to have you around. I mentioned this this other time yeah. because I feel like your story is worthy the uh, drumming up because everywhere I go, uh, if there's an event, you are somewhere mixing the sound. You you're somewhere. You're organizing. You're somewhere in front, and you're not dressing up for the event. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> so yes, I learned about your sound engineering issue, and I was so interested because you now a lot of people don't talk about sound engineering yeah, as a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We whenever we are doing a gig, they go, "I mean, I'm a tago." Uh, and she mm. will get a guy, but you do it professionally, and it's amazing of what you do. Yeah, so yeah, you. tell me more about how it all started. What happened? Well, uh, since I was young, uh, I think I've always been interested in sound. Yeah. Uh, when I was much younger, in um, I would say maybe from standard five, mm. uh, I would watch my older cousins um, who used to stay with us, like do rapping some raga yeah before it was dance so it was raga yeah yeah yeah. I remember so, this. <laughs> yeah yeah so i was i was i was just interested and then me and uh my brother my my uh half brothers as well mm. uh we got into you know mimicking what they're doing you know sometimes mm. we'll steal their lyrics and then we'll go to school Mm. pretend they're hours and then you know yeah. do the same thing you, you know, you know your older brothers you look up to them kind of thing so we, we kind of just took took it on from there and then from there I got more interested in like uh, table drumming mm. um, in boarding school it was quite a thing you know when it people, was a yeah, thing when people, yeah when people would rap some people would do table drumming with their with that, what's that mathematical box yeah 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 I would take the mathematical box and then you know the, the campus and whatnot use it as, as hi-hats and the table <laughs> as, a, as a kick and whatnot yeah. So I would do that, and then after a while, my uncle bought me a, a four-track tape recorder. Mm. So and then started making little instrumentals, and then you know uh, record myself rapping yeah. on there and so on and so on. Mm. Yeah. So as I grew older, when I moved to the UK when I was fourteen, mm. um, that's when my uh, interest in production really grew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I stumbled into a course that was uh, basically doing uh, a little intro into uh, production using mm. Reason, which is a production software. I yeah. did that for two weeks and then they gave me a little certificate of attendance and I was so excited to tell my <laughs> mom that I have my first certificate. <laughs> 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 yeah, you yeah. know, by and by I got into university and so and so on and so on. I mean, it's a long story, but mm. um, long story short, here we are. I mean, that's all I do now as a full-time uh, sound engineer, pretty much. So, yeah, yes, you did that certificate. Did you do your whatever university or anything that you did, yeah. did you do sound? Yeah, uh, pretty much anything from then on, mm. there was an element of sound in my education. Wow. Yeah. Um, and they allowed you at home? Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a point where, when <laughs> I was actually going to university, I think my dad didn't think I was really being serious that I want to be a sound engineer. Yeah. So he would encourage it. I think in the back of his head, think, eh, well, he's going to do IT when he grows up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, when I was going to university and then I uh, told my dad I enrolled for uh, music technology, mm. he wasn't impressed for a while. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he got what I wanted to do and mm. he supported it, but, you know, mm. You know, I, I, on the other hand, he wanted me to do IT. Um, mm. But in all fairness, sound engineering and IT aren't too far. Understand? You can tell you can yeah. tell him that I still use the the computer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean everything now is it either is via IT. the computer yeah. or there's a computer inside your console or yeah. something, and there's a lot of networking. So mm. if you don't know anything about networking, it's difficult to do mm. sound engineering mm. these you days. You can't, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Because you're you're looking at all those cables, you have to understand how they are flowing. Exactly. cable you got How do we boost it so that exactly, exactly? Uh, yeah. So. It, 
exactly what you're saying, the things like what we call preamplifiers, mm. which boost signals at certain checkpoints mm. in the in the signal chain. Yeah. Um, Let's not go too far, but yeah. But I'm happy to do <laughs> but that. Basically, <laughs> but basically, yeah, that's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's interesting yeah. because you see, as parents, um, usually there's this issue, specifically when we are kids and we, um, at a particular time, you are trying to figure out what you want to do when you grow up, mm. and then they are always driving you towards a particular thing. Yeah. And there was a time when IT was a thing. Yeah. It Everyone was, wanted it was. to do yeah. IT. Yeah. But the issue was IT for what? Exactly. Because you see, what yeah. you're doing here is still IT, but you have specialized on a particular element. Yeah, exactly. The right. You are using yeah, different yeah. tools yeah. Yep. that require someone to understand technology. Yes. Yes. Yeah. True. So I think I think people really need to look at uh, these conventional courses. Like you have to be a doctor, you have to be a teacher. Because I think nowadays you cannot be a doctor, but you're gonna be a therapist, an advisor. Yeah. True. true. Within the same realms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, actually, when I was young, I think maybe that's that's what made him feel IT is the choice because yeah. I could break apart computers oh. really easily and put it back together. If there's a problem, I'll fix it myself. So ah, growing yeah. up for him, he always saw me fixing his computer, so he thought this is the thing. But that's what I think that has been part of the reason why sound engineering has been fun for me uh, mm. because it is about piecing things together and breaking them apart and again, piecing them, them together again day by day and then trying to do it better the next day. Mm. Um, so I think for me, that's what's fun about um, yeah. sound engineering. Apart yeah. from, as, as aside from being baby, I mean, maybe just like uh, mm. an IT specialist where, yeah. you know. But even the, 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 yeah. the, the art of breaking and uh, putting things together. Yeah. The art of creating a sound. Yeah. That yeah. everyone is like, ah, this there's a the sound stuff. here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It feels like inventing something new mm, every day. Every day. And either someone will like it or they won't like it. Yeah. But either way, it will leave You've you... You've created something. Yeah, with a certain high or low mm. that makes you want to do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Um, that's, that's how I feel sound does yeah. uh, for True. me anyway. True. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. So... Let's talk about sound engineering. Mm. You know, why is it so underrated? I'm saying this, it might, it might not be underrated, yeah. but if you look at it, I'm, I'm telling you because I've been in places yeah. where we look, we know our solution is a sound engineer, yeah. but we don't want to admit. All we want to do is anyone who just know how to work on an amp come yeah, here yeah, yeah. and just do whatever you can do. Unfortunately, if you do it well, the response from the audience should be underwhelming or underrated. Mm. That's why maybe it is underrated. Yeah. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, any day that sound goes well yeah. uh, or anything involving sound goes well, uh, yeah. a good song or a good production or a, a, a good show, mm. if sound or generally technical goes well, yeah. nobody is concerned about sound. Yeah. Or technical or get issues. Get about it all. Yeah. Because what you've done is achieved the whole point of the function or the song or whichever, that yeah. people are now just engaged with the show mm. or engaged with the song yeah. uh, to the level where they're not thinking of any technical aspect to the um, song or, or the show or whichever. Yeah. So if you've done it really well, it should be really underrated. Uh, mm. No one should care for sound. Yeah. But when you do it wrong, that's when everybody realizes that, oh, my gosh, where's the sound engineer? Yeah. Where's the guy who makes sure that we don't notice what, what's happening yeah. and so on and so on? So that's the unfortunate but fortunate thing that's uh, that that's involved with sound. Yeah. You know, if you but, do it well, nobody yeah, cares. Yeah, but what, what you do is you, you cover, you make life easy exactly for people. Yeah. So if it's an event, people are having fun yeah. and they want music, they want... They don't want to think about sound or anything. Anything, like that. the yeah, connection yeah. of the or the wires or exactly. anything. Yeah. So yeah. you are the person who does that dead work. Yeah. I mean, I, I like to say it as um, it's a very humbling job. Uh, to when I realize yeah. that I like to say it as it's it's uh, it, the audience. Uh, okay, this is a statement I say to myself when anybody wants to be a sound engineer is yeah. that we the audience have hired you the sound engineer mm. to give us what we like. Yeah. So in that statement, there isn't any part where you are the highlight. Mm, you know, you've yes. been hired to to make sure that we aren't concerned about about sound, sound about uh, wires and anything. But we want it done how we like it. 
mm. not how you like it as well. Yeah, so it's a very humbling job it that is. you really have to understand that they've hired you as a professional to impress unprofessional ears and mm. give unprofessional ears what they like, uh, not what your professional ears <laughs> like. <laughs> so you may come in and be like, ah. I think this is the best sound. Yeah, yeah. But well, like, no, no, someone need, might not like it. We need more bass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially um, an artist. Imagine it, you're, you're tuning for an artist. Exactly. An and artist is there. Yeah. And, and then every time, actually, you have two faces. Mm. So you have to impress the artists mm. uh, who have their monitors um, facing them, and that's yes. what they're hearing throughout the show. Mm. And then you have to impress the audience who also have a perception of that artist and what they, he should sound like. Okay. Crazy. Yeah, so it's, it's crazy. two different angles as so every time you're doing that um, mm. sound engineering. Yeah, cool. Yeah. But how do you say, stay so calm? I've seen you mixing in places. Mm. Um, I think the recent one is um, uh, is Life Fest. Yeah. Yeah. And when is there's a thing, people. Who, I think it was uh, during the um, the performance of uh, this Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, those guys have a lot of things happening. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, so you have yeah. to do a lot of changes and all yeah, those things. Yeah. True. And the crowd was angry because yeah. they felt like things it's were delayed. Time, of course. Yeah. Right. And the yeah. guys over there as well, they have expectation. How do you stay so calm? Because I saw there, yeah. and I saw one of your team members mm. was was in distress, like yeah. going over there. But you were so calm. <laughs> Uh, what I've discovered is uh, chaos or, you know, that kind of feeling yeah. is really common when, uh, let's say, an artist is about to go on or a show is about to start yeah. at the beginning of every function mm. or even during the function yeah. by the people uh, who are handling uh, behind the scenes. Mm. Um, uh, unfortunately, what it does uh, to to you and everybody else around you, yeah. it makes them shut down uh, when you expose it. Because mm. right? it's already a natural thing in the environment. It's yeah. a tense environment. Yeah. Um, people are waiting. People are drunk sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Or people are just excited to see the artists. So and they're waiting for the yeah. So everybody the moment tense. The audience for. is tense, and then your manager is tense, and your guys are tense. Everybody's tense. So when you add on to that tense, you might shut down, and everybody else might shut down. So we might actually move slower. Yeah. So I've actually come to a point with just realizing, okay. There are a hundred issues we must fix in ten minutes, right? Mm. All we have to do is take one for one, one by one, one by one, mm. until we get to a hundred. When we get to a hundred, we'll have the show on. Mm. Once that goes on, we should make sure all these hundred are fixed. That way, the show doesn't stop. Yeah. The key is once it starts, it shouldn't stop. Yes. Uh, so we just take our time and we go through it. I, I do actually talk through our, our team most of the time that there is no room for panic in our, in my team. Um, yeah. It's better to just say there's a problem. Mm. I'm thinking one, two, three is a solution. What do you think? Then to panic and go over the place. Yeah, exactly, because panic will say Sizigulida. Yes. Okay. Now, Sizigulida could be that there are 10 problems happening for it not to go on. Yeah. Right? But uh, Calm would say Sizigulida because of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten. So let me start mm. with one, then two, then three, then four, then five, all the way to ten. Once we get to ten, zirida. You know, yeah. so you relax because you know what's you know going the process. to happen. Exactly. It has to be a process. Yeah. So you you know it's gonna take time, but you know that you're gonna get to the end. Yeah. So uh, f f for me, it's key to know as much as possible uh, in your craft. Mm. It keeps you calm. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I think knowing knowing what you're doing yeah. uh, really keeps you calm because it's just like another job, right? Where, for instance, you were at an event. For instance, yeah. you're working in an NGO and you have people. You were supposed to share the money. Yeah, and then people are angry. Yeah, uh, yeah. because there's an issue of prioritization. Who mm -hmm. should we start? Exactly. You wait. You discuss, and then you start. Yes. Yes. It's not gonna be like oh, there's chaos, then we will leave. Yeah, it. yeah. And then you don't you leave know, it like that. Even if you if you were to pay all of them, you have to sign maybe. Yes. 50 checks. Yes. Right? Uh, it will take time. Yeah. Somebody will have to wait five hours mm. uh, for those signings to happen. To happen or somebody yeah. will have to wait for the second signatory tomorrow mm. or the day after or next week. Yeah. But if you know a process is happening, on the other hand, you can stay calm and talk to the person, panicking, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. So it's a similar situation. Yes, correct. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Now, this, this, this space is good. Um, I feel mm. like it's, um, it's a unique space. Uh, specifically at that particular time, because you are creating a moment. Mm. 
people are creating history yeah. with those events. Yes, yes, definitely. And you're yeah. part of that moment. Yeah, yeah. And people will hardly see you. People will, ha- will look at the dancer, will look at the artist, yeah. and forget the person who made it possible for that artist to sound like that. <laughs> yeah. And you, you don't feel bad sometimes, like, ah, why don't people talk about me? No, actually, it's exciting because... You walk past people talking about a certain show and yeah. they get really excited, like, oh, show you how And then I'm going to up a stage here and so on. So, blah, 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 and so, on. Hey. so the excitement is seeing that everybody is excited. Yeah. Um, I think if you, if you can't get that part, uh, mm. definitely this is not the job. <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah. this is not the job. Yeah, I think if, you, if, you're, if you're dealing with, uh, yeah. you're trying to find happiness. Um, by being uh, exalted or something, yeah, it's not and the job. not the product that you have given. It's not the job. It's yeah, not yeah. the job. Because uh, unfortunately, every time, most most of the time, not every time, yeah. most of the time, an audience member decides to talk to you is because something's not well. Yeah, yeah. and every um, time you see people not coming at that at that call, so that you you you're managing. Yeah, you yeah. know everything is good. <laughs> when you see people coming, you're like, no, no, no one is gonna come here to you, say you, you're doing it well. If you see someone walk up to you, you just know they're coming to let you. You know, yeah. I don't like what's going on. <laughs> Fix something. Oh yeah. my god! Ah, and it's, it's it's it was funny is that um, like I said earlier, uh, unprofessional ears coming to tell professional yeah that something is going wrong. And it's yeah. funny. Uh, you, you know, know what they're saying. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, okay, they don't know. Yeah. If uh, I would do that, this is what will happen. Exactly. And you have to humble yourself and listen to them. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Um, fortunately as well, because sometimes they actually uh, make your job easier. Mm. Uh, uh, because once you please them, like I said, mm. even if their problem is still there, if they're you, happy, you, it's if fine. they're happy, it's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. You yeah, can go yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is not a job if you're looking for someone to say well done every night. Um, because yeah. if it goes well, you get none of those. Yeah. yeah. When, it, you, when it doesn't go well, uh, and that's when you get uh, it. Then you know, uh, or the newspaper will write you somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sound was bad. Hey. Yeah. Actually, the recent show, uh, Terry Green's show, actually on the twenty fifth. Hey. That didn't go too well. Uh, I mean, I won't go too much in the details yeah. why it didn't go too well. Yeah. Um, well, although, the, the one on the, on the on the Christmas Day. Yes, yeah, yes, that yes. one. Yeah. Although some of the issues are not really concerning uh, me pers- personally, mm. uh, but they're still under my control. Mm. Um, but yeah, things didn't go too well, and it was it went all the way in the news that sound yeah. was poor. Were, yeah, sound yeah, was bad. Actually, the whole year that was the bad review that we received. But yeah. I took it well. Um, I looked at what was the issue, and mm. these are things that we have to work on and yeah. see, okay, how can we improve yeah. and how can we make sure such doesn't happen? Yeah. Um, because it takes one to kind of ruin uh, a certain reputation that you build yeah. for yourself. Yeah, yeah. 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 And sometimes people, it's funny when you talk of uh, uh, reports coming out, because sometimes when people say stuff mm. like, um, I didn't like the sound. Yeah. I didn't like how you, how it was happening. Mm-hmm. What I ask people to always remember is, mm. do you know that there are good times? Yeah. That yeah. Mm. that this person was doing yeah, the yeah. best and you enjoyed. Yeah. Can you also remember about that times? But unfortunately, that's not how life works. Yeah. People yeah. always look at the best moment and the worst moment. Exactly. And they will talk about the worst moment the worst more moment than the best moment. About. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Actually, the, the funny thing is, it's nearly impossible um, to ha- actually have the entire show mm. to have bad sound. Yeah. It's it's not possible. At fact. some point, it's good. At some good. point, it's going to be good. At some point, it's good. But it's easy to focus when it goes wrong mm. uh, and say it was bad yeah. uh, rather than saying uh, they were stuck in some moments uh, yeah. with bad sound. They will say it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, it happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah. It is what it is. And um, mm. that's that's what we're supposed to face yeah. uh, I, I, in that context if you are a service provider in any way. Yeah, yeah, uh, for exactly. Yes. Let's talk about the high moments. Mm-hmm. I know uh, that if there's a big event happening in Malawi, mm. you are doing the sound engineering of that event. Wow. Well. <laughs> That's how I know it. So it's let's look at marketing. Ah, <laughs> yes. So people should know that this guy is the best in the game. Wow. But let's talk about your best shows. Okay. Um, maybe the ones that you felt like I really did the best work and it was really interesting. I was happy. Yeah. Can you mention those? Um, you know, I always go back to the second coming of yeah. Morgan Heritage. Hey, the, um, the second one, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I wasn't the lead engineer. Mm. Uh, no way was I even probably considered as a sound engineer. In the yeah. job. But my job was to basically welcome the lead engineer, mm. who was Max from the US. Mm. Um, he came with the Morgan Heritage mm. team. Mm. Yeah, so my job was to welcome him and make sure that his job is as easy as, as possible. As easy as possible. Yeah, so what they do is they send you a technical writer, mm. and then you have to find what they're looking for uh, or an alternative what to what they're looking for uh, that can suit them. Uh, so they'll send you that maybe a couple of months beforehand mm. and then you have to look for all of those things and then you email them back and say, okay, I found this and this, this and that. Are mm. you comfortable with this? Is your band comfortable with this? Mm. And if they say yes, then we'll go ahead and that's what we'll set up on the day. Interesting. Yeah. Um, for me, that was a, an inter- interesting experience because I, uh, I, from then on, that's when people started taking me serious as a mm. sound engineer mm. um, because it was a tough show Mm. it was one of the biggest uh shows as far as i have seen of late yeah it was the siva uh, the siva yeah i think it was no it, this, this, was, this was at civil yes yeah, yeah. yeah yeah uh they came first at silver stadium mm. uh with the cd issue yeah we'll like the that. cd and issue then, and then they came back they to came second, yeah yeah so the second time they came because they came really serious mm. okay, yeah they, 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 they knew really, that it was I, a repetition issue yes if i'm honest with you like i think what the audience saw after that silver uh show mm. Is not even half of what was happening behind the scenes. These wow. people took it serious. They took it as an offense that yeah. their audience were looking forward to a live band and they have brought a DJ performance yeah. using a laptop. Yeah. So they really thought, oh my gosh, we have lost Malawi. Mm. We need to come back and fix soothe this. Soothe them and, you know, mm. serenade them with serious Morgan Heritage music. Yeah. So take that mood and then translate it to someone who's saying I'm going to set up the equipment for you yeah no no, no. <laughs> and Morgan Heritage is an international brand yeah you're looking at international brand they yeah. are they perform they perform almost everywhere yeah, in the world. yeah, yeah and yeah. their performances are big big performances yeah yeah exactly big, and they have huge. huge expectations yeah, uh, yeah. for uh, actually even they say it to them they say themselves that they consider themselves one of the serious bands out of uh, Jamaica yeah. So uh, some of the things that were on the rider were, you know, like four thousand dollar keyboards uh, yeah, that yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. not get in Malawi. You so can't get that. Yeah, what yeah. do you tell them is the alternative? Mm. You know, uh, but you have to find something. Yeah. Yeah. And luckily, and I'm really happy that we actually gave them options that were already in Malawi. Nothing okay. was taken out from 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 outside. Interesting. So we yeah. have people we have have, uh, yeah. have equipment yeah. around. Uh, d- different corners of Malawi have some decent gear. Mm. The issue is just getting all of that together. Together. Yeah, uh, mm. which is the big part of working as a sound engineer in Malawi. Mm. When you're hosting international uh, acts, yeah. the big part was, is making sure they have the right equipment and making sure you know enough people Mm. to give you that equipment. So you have to have partners, friends Mm. uh, in the game Mm. that are going to do that for you. Um, Yeah. yeah, Because, you know, it's not just about the money um, because they can easily say, no, I'm not going to give you my equipment because you're going to look good. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, People always do that. And um, in the the business, you you always find people like, no, 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 we're not going to borrow your stuff. Yeah. Uh, If they want, they will use us. Yeah, yeah, we, but luckily, we engineer ourselves, <laughs> and I've seen that happening, yeah. and then it becomes a mess. Yeah, like, ah. but luckily, it's, it's 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 very few people like in Malawi mm. in the audio world that would do that. Mm. Um, but yeah, most of them will will, will, will assist. Uh, yes, they'll charge. Mm. Yes, the fee will go higher when, yeah. when an international act comes in. Yeah, but they will assist you, and you know make sure that things will go well. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's the country's reputation as well yeah. that goes out there. Um, I remember, I can't remember who, but someone wrote uh, a very negative feedback about uh, coming to Malawi to perform. Yeah. Say something like, Malawi doesn't have gear and, you know, yeah. terrible this, terrible that, terrible that. I wasn't involved with the show, but besides the point, I think we all took it personally mm. that, you know, uh, that's something that shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't happen, yeah. yeah because, yeah. yeah, there are so many people around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the Morgan one was good. Yeah. Which, anyone, any second um, on the list? Uh, I think Diamond, uh, when he first came yeah. in Sandfest, Sandfest yeah. that was interesting. Everything went wrong, but uh, <laughs> I really love the memory of that uh, Sandfest. <laughs> Everything went wrong, but um, yeah, 
Are we talking about this event where you people were talking about you on, the, on social media? Like, where is Shad? Where no, is, no, 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 oh, no. That's that the second coming. Okay. Everything went wrong again, but <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. That one well. was crazy. <laughs> Do you know that's the time that I knew that you are you're professionally uh, doing this thing? Because I I knew you um, when I was working for Zatu. Zatu, yes, yes. Yes, and I knew that you were involved in the production. Yeah, yeah. As a producer. Yeah. That's what I knew. All right. No, actually, I was involved as the, their live sound engineer. Oh. Yeah, but I would come into the studio sometimes to collect some material, mm. uh, some of the productions, so yeah. that we can use them for their live productions. Uh. Yeah. So I was involved as a live sound engineer for, for, for the guys. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that time when I saw the the comments from yeah. people, because I had a couple of guys who went there. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, yeah. So they were commenting. So I was checking with them. Uh, if it not be a visa that time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so check. I said, "How is it? Man? Is it popping?" I was like, yeah. I said, "Ah, I'm man. We no go. Bola. Shout the guy I don't know. Hey, people on wow. social media. I saw your name. I'm like, ah." I know this guy. <laughs> but I, I didn't know that he's uh, he's the savior for Malawi wow. when it comes to the audio. <laughs> not, not like that. <laughs> but uh, I think because I've done Sun Festival for a while. So they were uh, expecting you. Yeah. So most people mm. would expect me uh, to, to work there and, you know, be doing sound there. Yeah. Um, uh, so I think when they did see me and they th saw things going wrong, they just hundred percent assumed that mm. okay, it must be because he's not here. Yeah. But there were a lot of uh, reasons why things weren't going well so yeah. well uh, that yeah. day, and also like it rained the night before. Yeah, yeah, it rained heavily. It affected uh, some the of the PA yeah. was damaged. Mm. Uh, some of the damage is still being recovered now, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's part of the risk of doing sound as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. but um, so yeah, we went in uh, on the third day at two o'clock. Uh, uh, and we had sound set up by 4.30, somewhere there. Yeah. And then that's when Diamond and, and the other guys performed. Yeah. But even us, um, our sound actually wasn't perfect. We were yeah. just lucky that things were going so wrong. So they To the point that people wouldn't notice anything mind wrong. about exactly. the quality. Because half the, the PA wasn't on. The, the right side of the PA wasn't on. God. Only the left side was working. And four out of uh, was it three out of the four boxes one had no treble and, ah. you know because we didn't have enough time to set it up properly yeah. uh, and then i realized when we got home uh that um, it's a biome system which runs four wires instead mm. of two wires which uh on a normal uh pa uh, pa with a passive crossover inside yeah ignore that part so what happened was that they were using the cables to run subs on the previous event so they joined the wires inside so it means the highs and the lows were receiving the same frequency, which was the low frequencies. Mm. Yeah, so they weren't taking the high frequency amplifier from, from, from their sources. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a mess. In fact, it would have been a big accident. Yeah. Luckily, when I was pushing the PA, I could hear there was something in there. So I just told them, okay, shut down the left side and I'm mm. the right side and let's just use the left. And, and nobody cared because they just needed the sound. Yeah, people you know? wanted the sound. People, yeah. you know, there are times when you are in trouble. Yeah. Uh, you don't care which water you're drinking. Yeah. You can get anything. I, 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 refer, I, refer, I refer that moment to somebody who's been hurt for so long. Yes. And then you just come in and literally just be present. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, oh, this is everything I was waiting for. This is the guy I was waiting for. He's Crazy. present. Like the other one used to be a drunk. The yeah. other one used to just, you know, and then he's he's around. Yeah. He's not even good looking. He's, yeah. He's but, but he's around. Yeah. <laughs> he's around. And, and people have always asked, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I've heard about that issue yeah. where people have always said, ah, but I, I don't understand this relationship. Yeah. You know, these guys, they don't match. But yeah. yeah. He's around. People are available for each other. <laughs> yeah, <They are> now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that situation, yeah. yeah. But I was uh, I, my my high moment was the first time uh, coming to San Festival. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, there's actually a state a, a status that I wrote after that event mm. um, because that that event took everything from me uh, mm. personally as a person. Mm. Uh, it drained me completely, mm. mind wise, physically, everything. Mm. Um, I went to that festival really excited that we're, we're about to do a killer show mm. and everybody's going to be excited and everyone's going to be happy and I'm going to be yeah. the best, you know. And we got there, things were going wrong. Um, mm. We didn't have our generator until Saturday. Hey. And then there was low voltage on Friday mm. and the stage broke on one side. Um, so they performed with the stage half lifted. Mm. Uh, so it wasn't high up. Netman's head was actually halfway into the roof of the stage. What? 
because he's really tall. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's uh, tall. So it's, it's not <laughs> Stage's problem. <laughs> Nepal was, is too tall. It was his, his natural. He's just too tall. What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to work on his head. I, I think we need to check with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so everything tall. was mm. going wrong. Mm. But uh, um, the team, uh, myself included, yeah. we tried, like I'm saying, to solve each situation as it yeah. came and we tried to push as much as possible. And then when the generator came on Saturday, yeah. it rained 100%. Hey. It was the repeat of basically what happened uh, with Diamond last yeah. year, last of last year as well. Yeah, It rained 100% and it was so bad, we had to remove the entire PA. Hey. And then um, at 11 o'clock at night, Diamond was saying, I'm going home uh, tomorrow morning. So if we don't perform tonight, we're done. Oh my gosh. So the festival manager comes to me and says, Can you rig up a whole festival PA in two hours? Oh my gosh. At this moment in time, I have been trying to get this thing working for the last two days. Non stop. I haven't slept. I haven't done You I don't think sleep. I barely eat. I don't sleep because those guys that are there enjoying this themselves, yeah. they will have fine time to go sleep, come yeah, back. Yeah. You don't. We, we don't, but then. This was worse because we didn't sleep and we were constantly working. Mm. You know, it's different when they, when their show is going on, you know, three hours of a performance by black missionaries. Yeah. You will just sit and be watching yeah. along. Your, yeah. your mind is kind of, you know, yeah. drifting in and out. So yeah. you're fine. Mm. But at this moment, I've been working two days straight and I am completely finished. Yeah. Now they're saying, can you set up a whole PA in two hours? Two hours. And I looked at him and said... Yeah, let's do it, you know. Hey. <laughs> and oh I gosh. went to wake up the guys. Uh, one of them was who fell asleep, blacked out, literally like he's drunk in the mm. car. One of them passed out in the tents. And when I tried to wake him up, he thought I was some sort of ghost. What? Because he's so traumatized with the amount of things that's gone wrong. And yes. he's passed out. When he woke up, he literally shook himself because he didn't know what to do. And he didn't know what was going on. It was that bad. So we're mm, all that no, tired. That was bad. So I couldn't get them all up. Uh, so I had one guy with me and there was a guy at DJ F Flavor, whatever the name is. Mm. You know, he's from SA, but he's a Malawian born. Mm. He was just curious about sound. So he was around. And then Johnny Banda, uh, mm. Lucy Spanders, yeah. uh, son. So it was three of us. And I was like, you know what? I'll tell you what to do. And then, you know, you just kind of follow me kind of yeah. thing. So I was rigging up the PA, literally holding the speaker and climbing up the trussle ah, and putting it up because the chain was stuck on the top. Oh, my god! So gosh. we did three aside instead of the eight aside thing because yeah. there was like three is enough people here. Yeah. And then all the subs were already on anyway because we didn't remove them. And then we set up just DI boxes as opposed to amplifiers and stuff yeah. like that on stage. Everything was just shortcuts, you know. Yeah. As long as I get it on, I'll get I will be fine. Mm. And I just love Diamond's people. Mm. I don't know if it's a Tanzanian thing or mm. whether they're just good people, whether his team is just happy people. Yeah. They came on stage saying, you know what, we're here to perform. Whatever is here is what is here. I just have this. Can you connect this for me? I'm like, yeah, sure. I have this. Can you connect? Okay, done, 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 done. And then it was up. And when the PA went on, it sounded so good. Mm. It just kind of made everybody forget the problems. And we we're talking about the AM times, two. right? This was at, he performed from, I think, maybe 2 a.m. <laughs> till, was it, was it 5, 6, somewhere there? Hey. Yeah, so he performed for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and I think people were just, you know. Like, well, I've got it. They ate and ate and, and they were all fed. Because everybody yeah. went home feeling like, okay, this was good. Was this good. moment here. Mm, this moment Not the last day, but What this happened the other days? They forgot kind of a bit about it. So, yeah. yeah. So for me, when I went home, uh, that's what made me really realize what this job in, entails mm. and what kind of uh, mindset you should have if you when taking this. on this job. Yeah, so I wrote a status that went in the lines of, um, I think it was in the lines of, in the moment, mm. uh, what was it? Yeah, in the moment, uh, we will solve the problem as as we meet it. Mm. And then if we choose to cry, it will mm. be right after we're done with the function. And mm. then we'll ask ourselves what went wrong mm. then. Mm. Not during the moment. Not no. be, not hammering yourself. Oh, it's gone no, no, wrong. No. I should go to the corner and cry. Yeah. You can only do that when you're done with the whole function. Yeah, I don't mean physically crying. But yeah, I mean but yeah, come on. Beating sometimes yourself you, down. Sometimes yeah, you yeah. just have to go there and just... Think about yourself. Exactly. You and know, then, you commit, yeah. you keep going, you keep going, keep going until they shut down the lights and say we're done with this function. You keep going until you get it done. 
Uh, that's 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 the mindset. Now, that I, I, I like the spirit, man. I like yeah. the spirit, uh, and that's why probably you're going up there. Uh, I've I've ever met um, and seen uh, sound engineers who are so rude. Mm. Uh, did you trying to fight with the, with the artists and the like? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It happens, but yeah, I've I've seen you. Uh, I, I'm not saying this because um, you're my client. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying this because I've I've seen you. I've yeah. seen your work and I've seen how happy you are, you are, even when people are coming in. Mm. And I've seen you in the stress moments mm. that you were calm. And I told you you were calm and the pe- people were all over, but you were calm doing the things. I think this guy is a professional. He has done this. He knows that, yes, it's going to happen. People will be angry, but they'll forget about this moment. Yeah, yeah they, they do forget. <laughs> if you, if you, if you it eventually get it right, yes, they do forget. They forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they you forget know. about that moment. You know it's going to be a 30 minutes that is so painful. People yeah, will talk yeah. while you're hearing. Yeah. You're not going to take that. You're just yeah. going to find, let's fix this. Exactly. But imagine if Chris Martin went on stage and then five minutes into the biggest song he ever performs, everything yeah. goes poof. Yeah. Right? And then they have to wait an hour because we prolonged something we could have fixed uh, no. earlier. It doesn't work yeah, like that. So yeah, so it's one of those things that you must hold your nerve and make sure everything is right. Um, even the if, even the um, the artists themselves will tell you the same thing. Mm. Um, when they, I remember earlier in the, in the morning after sound check, they actually said, you know, Take the time you need to make sure that you set it back the same way it is right now because mm. we're fine with waiting. Because mm. they also realize we can't start the show and then something goes off. They also know the same thing. It's Once it starts, artist, it yeah. should keep going. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Great. Cut. You remember what? Ah, you saw the All right, because I was worried about the same thing. Okay, cool. So we're gonna talk about the side of money. Okay. Uh, money, uh, and uh, and the issues. Money. Yeah. And and of course we'll talk about then the the training at the end. Yeah. Um, why you want people to do this when it's hard? Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about money uh, when it comes to this space. Mm. No, um, I know in Malawi, talking about money is an issue. It's a taboo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a tricky thing It's a tricky one. Like, like, because you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, suppliers, you owe. Like, uh, maybe I'm going to go as in the crew. Like, yeah. Okay, they don't get paid that much. So, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. I think it all depends. But yeah, if you look at... Um, uh, because I'm coming from a, from a premise of this is an underrated space. Yes. Yet it's so important to the event. It is, yes. Right? Mm. Every church, every space, they are looking for good quality sound. Mm. And there are events happening almost every day yeah. in these hotels and they're looking for the best sound. Yeah. Right? Are people willing to pay for the value? You know, um, I can say that people are starting to see more and more uh, the value in a good sound engineer. Mm. Um, um, without bragging, I like to think I have been part of uh, convincing people of mm. this. Um, because when I first came here, either you had to have your own equipment to, and then you operate it as a sound engineer because nobody yeah, gets yeah, why yeah. there must be one. Yeah. So they book equipment, that's it. Mm. Or if you were booked as a sound engineer outside your, of your own equipment, it yeah. was something like 10,000 kwacha per, per, per show. Yes, I yeah. remember hearing about that. Yeah, uh, so when, when, I came, when I came about, I think it's been 10 years now, mm. uh, roughly, when I came back from the UK, mm. um, that was the price people were being paid for sound engineers. 10,000 kwacha. 10,000 Malawi yeah. kwacha. Other than that, it was oh, that sh- if we need somebody who is a sound engineer, we'll get them from outside Malawi. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So, Lake of Stars, Sandfest, mm. uh, any other festival that was taking sound seriously mm. would hire a person from outside of Malawi and brought him in and bring him in. And then everybody else who's a sound engineer here in Malawi would be an assistant mm. or somebody who's just, you know, carrying the equipment or, you know, doing the bidding of that international sound engineer. Yeah. Um, and then if they were paid well, it wasn't anything more than maybe 40,000 kwacha for that festival per hey, day. Yeah. Come on, um, come on, so, man. So that was, uh, only, that was only less than 10 years ago. It. Yeah. Uh, um, but there have been people like uh, uh, Leme, yes. uh, Jabe, mm. um, 
even Patrick, uh, mm. a few other guys, I uh, probably uh, failed to mention some people, mm. um, that have shown people that, you know, if you get somebody professional mm. to do this job mm. properly, your show goes well, your audience are happy, the trust in your production is yes. higher. So next time you have a show, people, will people are more interested more. Yeah. to come. Yeah. Uh, so people like that have really helped uh, mm. uh, increase the interest in people uh, wanting good sound engineers and just generally in Malawi is wanting good sound. I, sh- I should also mention uh, people like uh, John Takoma. Yeah, um, he's been there, that guy. Jai Banda, I should yeah. also mention him. Yeah. Um, big guys, legendary Yeah, guys. so these two, I, I didn't mention them before because they own their own big sets. Yes, of so equipment. they have their set. Yeah. So yeah. you're talking but you're talking of people who, who don't have sets, but people would hire them as engineers. Yes. So let, on let on me them. start it before he had a set. Uh, mm. But he, he, he was a hard worker to the point he got his own equipment as well mm. and got really good equipment, you know? Yeah. Um, Jai Banda, what I love about him is that he is the one that's really got Malawians generally just passionate about going out to a mm, show. Yeah. You know? Um, his experience is not having is not uh, having the me the understanding of sound engineering per se, mm. but understanding the passion in sound. Yeah. Uh, so he would get people and ask you like, okay, what's what can we bring out or buy or use yeah. or who can we get? To just have great sound, mm. great a great show, that kind mm. of thing, and he would invest in that. He would invest mm. in that person. So Jai has been a key in this from the get go. And there's a newspaper of him in 1989, like you know, setting up sounds. No, he has, he has been there. He has been. He's a legendary guy. Exactly. Uh, and I hope one day I'll meet him. But yeah, no, he's a great guys. guy. He's a great guy. Him, Takoma. Yeah. Um, uh, they have they've been there. They have pioneered yeah. the space. Definitely. Um, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But let's talk about you. You, in terms of payments for now, people that you don't you don't have a gear. Yeah. Right. They you you're gonna they're gonna find you. Yeah. You're gonna give them a quote. Yeah. Um. They'll probably ask you technical questions like, yeah. okay, for the best sound, what do we need? And you're yeah. gonna give them that advisory. Course, yeah. Yeah. How are people willing to pay for the value now? Now. Now they are. Now they are. And mm. now there's more interest. Um, okay. Um. For example, now people call you before they book equipment. Mm. Okay. Because they realize, you know, yeah. the service provider will make sure they will say, yes, my equipment is the best every yes. time. You know. Mm. But if you book an independent sound engineer or book somebody who's going to do your technical independently, mm. they will just pick what makes them look good. Mm. So I, I don't mind getting equipment from one one guy and mixing it with somebody else's equipment to mm. make the best sound possible. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, if I book one equipment company, you might get keyboards or something that people other people are looking for from other companies. Mm. And for that, people are, are, are now starting to see the value in that because they, they understand you're on the side of the client. Yeah. You know, um, so yeah, people are willing to pay uh, a lot more than ten thousand quasha. <laughs> yeah, and ten ten k was was just too small. Yeah, it 10K, was really low. Um, ten k is bad. Yeah, I but, mean, okay. Let's talk about yes. Why am I asking about the money? Yeah, you have um, you have uh, a short course that you're running. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you say people are not getting paid properly, yeah, no one will come. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll disclose the figures. Like, yes, let's, I, let's, let's I, talk I, about um, the figures in a way. The highest. I don't, I'm not going to say how much do they pay you for this event. Right? Yeah. But the highest. Um, the and the lowest. highest I've been paid per day is seven hundred and fifty thousand kwacha. Per day. Per day. It's a day rate. Yeah. Wow. That's the highest I've been paid. Wow, um, I'm, I'm thinking about changing my job. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like 750, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know you have a team. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they know you have a team and you factor in all those costs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you have a food, you have so many things. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean, so no, that's 750 just for me to turn up. For you to turn up? Yeah, not the team. Wow. Yeah, not the team. Uh, so the team would get paid uh, as well. Um, so our, our stagehands, for example, um, who basically just carry things and move things around. Yes, yes. Uh, they will get paid on average 30 to maybe 80,000, depending on the size of the show, per day. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think uh, we need to look at the cameras for the sake of this one. <laughs> um, th- there is this short course coming. Uh, and I think it's worthy for people to, to think about this yeah. now. Yeah. Because you see, the, you, there are very few of you yeah. in Malawi. Yeah. If you're looking for a sound engineer, if 
always, if, if I can just go at any WhatsApp group and check now, yeah. I'm looking for a sound engineer, they will have to send me your name. Yeah. Probably the first name and a few other names. Yeah. So the few and the demand is the high. Very few, yeah. The demand is very high because what people don't imagine is sound is in everything that we do in terms of any function. Mm. Causeway, bridal shower, yeah. uh, weddings, uh, corporate events, uh, jazz events, yeah. you know, those Sunday afternoon jazz moments, all of those things require sound engineer. Uh, churches, mm. clubs, venues, all of those things require sound engineers. Yeah. And, you know, if you just go, okay, let, 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 let's, let's be sarcastic and say, okay, if we just go Bancheu, mm. how many bars are there? Okay. So and many. how many bars have bad sound? And you could be the person <laughs> in Cheo that everybody relies on. I mean, you don't have to work uh, at the bar, but you have to be the person that yes. people know. Okay, in Cheo, we Ooh, have set sound. We have Shadrick, and if we want Kuti, ba Uncle B, ba carry good sound on Saturday. Tomorrow we done. Tomorrow we done a shadow. Tomorrow we done. I'm the junior sound. I'm the queen man. I'm the figure zin zin. Yeah. And sit watch a speaker. You yeah. know. So we save a lot of money. Must be got sap here and so on mm. and so on. And then you know, Shad gets paid X amount of money, and then you can control all the bars. Pancheo. Amazing. Man. All the weddings, Kuncheo. Ah. You know? Um, it's, it's this big. That's an is. opportunity. Yeah. In, yeah. in this time when people are uh, so, uh, there's a challenge of jobs, mm -hmm. uh, white collar jobs where Antuma CV are You can be, you can learn a skill yeah. that can help you yeah. to be relevant mm -hmm. in your space. Yeah. Uh, but I like I like what you're doing because someone would say no I don't want to teach people the skill mm -hmm. because I want to make the money why are you thinking about teaching people if I don't teach people anything about sound engineering I would definitely die young ah uh. I'll give you that I would definitely <laughs> die young because I can I barely sleep yeah. in December if I sleep longer than two hours in December it's a good night wow. because there's just that much work. Uh, for me and that somebody else could have also been doing with me uh, or along with me um, and every engineer or anybody who's just half involved in sound will tell you the same story for December oh, anyway from August all the way down to December yeah. and then the weddings for example you have weddings that, are ha that have bad sound mm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday Sunday, every holiday uh, inside w the week or wherever happening all over Malawi, uh, even just in Area 47 alone, yeah. where we're sitting right now, uh, there's Assemblies of God here, there's yeah. Catholic there, there's Ganinga there. Um, all those places have a service or, uh, I mean, a wedding or something or something mm. or something that's happening that could have great sound, that people would have had great mem memories if they weren't thinking about sound uh, while the event was happening. Yeah. You know, when, when, when a microphone gives feedback, that quick, quick, quick you sound. You always talk about that, the whole event. And people will say, oh, no, it was lovely. Come on, hey, my soccer. Sound is just Sigma Vega Bueno. Yeah, I should dress yeah. nice. Come on, hey, my soccer. My soccer. Hey, voice and now, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, even, yeah. People I, will leave. I, I'm, yeah. one, I'm one of those persons that I'm usually bored at. Exactly. When sound is bad, I'm like, eh, shh. Yeah, I, yeah. This is very true. Much. Even at an event that I was working at, um, one time, uh, one of the speakers was on the far side and it accidentally was louder without me realizing because I was sitting on, on, on a really awkward position. Yeah. And somebody came with their son and said, look at, the, look at the age of my son here. Do you expect him to be sitting next to that loudspeaker? Should I leave? And I said, no, don't worry. I'll sort it out. I'll Let me have a it. listen. I fixed it. And then she came back much happier. Um, but that's something that uh, if you don't have a sound engineer, it's just a DJ. DJs like, most of the time don't really yeah, realize what's going on. And you know that on. people would, would yeah. confuse a DJ with a sound engineer. It's a completely different Because thing. the DJs for the music. Some DJs can yes, they would. do sound engineering, but mm. most of these DJs in Malawi, no offense to them, they're really good, mm. but don't realize good sound mm. or don't know what to do to get good sound, yeah. even if they know good sound. Yeah. Uh, because they are not sound engineers. They're not sound engineers. Yeah. They're, I'll they're give you an example of Master KG. I'm not yeah. trying to, to... He's a great DJ, great music. Yeah. But when he came uh, to Malawi, yeah. uh, hopefully he's far enough. He won't, read, he won't, he won't go through this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tag him. Yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. I'll yes. give you that. He's a great yes. guy. Really calm guy. Yes. Really cool guy. Yeah. But uh, he was clipping his DJ uh, mixer. And I went up to him to tell him, okay, you're clipping. So it sounds really bad. So go yeah. Can you, could you gain it down a little bit? Yeah. And he said, I'm a, but I'm on 12 o'clock. Uh, you know? Uh, most people think if if the volume is on 12 o'clock, yeah. 
you can't clip. Okay. I but, don't understand what you're saying, but yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Clipping, clipping is when yeah. everything sounds distorted. Oh, so it's okay. the beginning of distortion. Okay. It is at the edge of it's about to go wrong. Uh, if it goes any higher, even the audience will start to notice. Ah, uh, yeah. So for me as a sound engineer, you notice it just at that, you know, mm. that edge where it's clipping. Mm. Yeah. Before it goes dis- to distortion. Yeah. Yeah. I think distortion you get. Yeah, no, distortion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Um, so yeah. I was t- I'm telling you, you're clipping, you need to gain it down a little bit so it sounds sweet. Then I'll put your volume up that side. Then that way we don't distort. Yeah. And it's like, I'm on 12 o'clock, you shouldn't clip. And it's like, no. You know, as long as it's showing red there, it's clipping. And it's like, no, but it's on 12 o'clock. I was like, I. Anyway. Yeah, but he's a DJ. He's a DJ. But, but then he's the, not when a sound it comes engineer. to the sound, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, he believes in his equipment so much and he's been told uh, misconceptions for so long that he believes if you put it at 12 o'clock, you're fine. Everything's but good. But what whoever was the engineer who told him that meant for this show, from how the levels are going on, if you keep it at 12, you're fine. Yeah. And then he took it, it as... Us that. Yeah, yeah. He took it as, if I go to any show, keep it at 12, I'm fine. But yeah. it depends on the input that's coming in into that console. So mm. his deck, the channel, the indi- yeah. individual channel itself was yeah. way too loud, way too hot. So it was yeah. coming in hot at 12 o'clock. But, you know, anyway. <laughs> no, I get yeah. it. I get so it. You no, need no. a sound engineer yeah, at I think your I'm, I'm already yeah. getting into the course right now. Yeah. I'm getting the benefit of that. And, yeah. I, and I've got it because, yeah, ideally you wouldn't want to... Uh, to mess up the sound because yes, yeah. this is how I tune it. But yeah, what about the other inputs and everything? The, the other coming? aspects, exactly. Yeah. So uh, generally, sound is, is is just managing your signal chain. Mm. Uh, what that means is that um, uh, it's the same thing as supply chain when it comes yeah. to, to 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 other things. Business, when like uh, our like supply you know, chain, our yeah, value so chain assessment from the source. Munda you know, and yeah, the yeah. farmer is good, and the fertilizer is good, mm-hmm. and the water is good. Yeah, no, not, I mean like there's water, not yes. water is good, yeah. but there's water, and the it farmer knows what well, they're yeah. doing. Yeah. Down the line, the whoever is processing that food knows what they're doing. Good. Yeah, everything is good. You know, the health checks are good. Mm. Down the line, whoever's packaging knows what they're doing. Down the line, whoever is buying has money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and yes, it's a same. So then I, the product is good. Yeah. So if you miss the point, people might say, "Ah, your food, your food is terrible." But, but my farmer is great. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but uh, whoever is processing the food the is bad. The company probably made some mistakes. Exactly. So basically, that's what I was trying to tell him that you know the food is coming out bad because you know the farmer is great you're a good dj you're a good performer mm. but your processing is not going on so well uh that's basically what i was trying to tell him uh, but he's trying to tell you that the farmer is great uh so why should the food be bad you know maybe the chef wasn't so great yeah. you know that kind of thing so so yeah uh it's making sure all of that mm. is happening and you're the guy to make sure all of that chain is is going on well. man this yeah. is this is some serious stuff man yeah and i know the reason this is the reason people need to come to this event uh, I, I know you haven't paid me to say this, but yes, people <laughs> come to this event because I believe if we have messed up events, mm. uh, specifically churches, churches, yes. we, it's hard to complain. Eh? Yeah. Like, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I think churches, most of the time, yeah. churches, churches can invest in their people mm. to come to trainings like this yes. where they can learn how to properly uh, administer the sound Very true. so that there is Very a true. good event good church service in fact i think church uh me being a christian as well mm. uh good sound in church is one of the most important things uh, very important um, because again back to my original point that mm. we the people have hired you the sound engineer or have brought you the volunteer sound engineer yeah to give us uh a good service basically mm. Mm. So literally, when you have bad sound in church, it pulls somebody from a moment where maybe they were being uh, in contact yeah. uh, with yeah. a much more deeper feeling, uh, yes. a spiritual feeling, mm. and it pulls them out of that and it makes them start thinking of, what is sound is weird about? Deeper. They you just know? give an example. Yeah. You're all good. You're all in the worship realm. And then something just goes, <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ah, uh, uh, guys, what's up? Exactly. Is everybody everyone, shuts down. Yeah, and everybody shuts down like that. comes out of that moment. Yes. And then they start thinking, what is when And they turn their heads, you know? Yeah. They don't say anything because, you know, we're in church, so we have to be nice. Yeah. But they turn their heads and they look at you. Even for a moment, it means you've taken them out of that mm. moment. And and it's, it's it, it now messes up this. The, the, the pastor who's about to come on, yeah. ho- hoping people are in the right mood. But everybody's in a bad mood. Cause Everyone is in a bad mood. They're yeah. angry with the sound engineer. Yeah, yeah And they, yeah. there are times when um, even the uh, the praise team or the choir is is is, is 
in the moment. Sing, eh? Yeah. And then uh, so that thing happens. Everyone is looking at the sound engineer and the guy is busy yeah, adjusting yeah, the volumes. Yeah, yeah. And that's where you need someone who understands exactly. how to be calm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And know what is happening on the council exactly. because some other people and, are just. And, and, and with church, stuff. ideally, it should start and end with no issues at all. From yeah. Sound. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just that's basically the basics. Mm. If anything, if you want to add reverb and the sweet stuff on top of that, yeah. the basic is did you no get the right things throughout? Yes, even handling the mic, like so. I'm sure you can hear that on, 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 on handling the mic, should not have any noise. So every time mm. someone tries to touch a mic, <laughs> you mute, then when they hold it, you unmute. Mm. You know, it's that kind of level of concentration so mm. that you shouldn't get like a. Yeah, in the PA, uh, when they're just in the stand, like so, imagine that's making noise. Mm. You mute, they adjust, then you unmute. So you wow. have to really pay attention, especially in church. And part of the training is actually letting people know those uh, movements and understanding how to make mute groups and stuff like that for yeah. such movements, because that's part of you know excellence in church wow yeah i say you're dropping gems yes you're <laughs> dropping gems i say i don't know if people that are are just staying there they are passionate with sound or whatever yeah um would understand this but if they would seize this moment yeah um learn the skill yes in this time when things are so hard in terms of employment and the like, mm. this might be their their their, their gateway to it really is because uh, it, it, independence it, it, or whatever. Imagine if you got yourself to that level in your church, mm. they're willing to pay. Uh, they're willing to they're pay, willing to and pay there are people within that church that are having events that want good those, sound exactly. Those are your first clients. That was my those were my my first clients as well. because uh-huh. um, I. Right now, I'll be honest, it's something, it's something I'm working on, but it's hard for me to even turn up at church because I'm so tired throughout yeah, the entire week. Yeah. But most of these jobs that I get came from church. I, yeah. And actually, part of my payback to church was that I trained people at my church mm. to make sure that even if I go missing, uh, yeah. things go well, they, they um, that kind it, yeah. of thing. But people don't forget that there was a guy here who used to man the sound. Mm. And if we want our private event, we mm. should call him. Mm. Those were my first clients. And that's how all of this began. And that's yeah. how all of these recommendations began. Yeah. And, and trust me, if somebody's willing to do that and volunteer church, get to a level where when you go missing, they realize they will pay you for it yeah. uh, because they will employ you to make sure that they keep you as yeah. their resident engineer. Um, and Amazing, I've man. trained so many people who are now being paid in church wow. as resident engineers. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Sometimes I find this information to be so valuable mm. to a way that if I was at some at a, at a same place struggling, I would look at the money that you're charging to be very little mm. to what you're going to get. Yeah. Right to what you're gonna get, the intelligence you're gonna get, and the opportunity and the networking that they're gonna get yeah, for them yeah. to start uh, their journey as engineers yeah. and be the best yeah. sometime later, yeah, yeah. or maybe be the best in a year or something, because that's what they need. Yeah, I mean, what what I'm trying to teach are, no, I, w- I don't want to use the word shortcuts, yeah. um, but they are the keys to making sure that yeah, you know what you're doing uh, yeah. during uh, any any sort of event. Yeah, they're not complicated things because of me uh, giving out my experience. Because you have already been there, exactly. you know. So, otherwise, they would go a, a long yeah. route. So, 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 like I'm saying, simple things like mic adjustments, yes, stuff like you that. You know what you're gonna Most do. Most people at the time. would ignore that during uh, a function hmm. uh, and imagine nobody cares. But, poo-poo, 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 poo-poo. but people would care if they realize it. Or in comparison to someone who mutes during those movements, because mm. they'll tell you, e, "I say last time." See, everything's clean. See, everything was just so quiet. You yeah. know, uh, actually, that's that's actually one of the biggest comments that I I, I get from uh, from people, mm. especially the organizers. Like everything yeah. was just so quiet before someone talked. Yeah. Um, 
especially with corporate events, mm. uh, like I'm saying, it's corporate events, churches, mm. the festivals are messy. I'll give you that. Yeah, because there's because stuff happening. Yeah, and there's a hundred things changing every ten minutes. So yes, you know, yes. they're messy. If you can, if you can get it through half good. I remember Tristram, uh, a British guy who lived in Malawi for a while. He's going back to England now. Yeah, uh, you know him. Mm. Yeah, 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 he said that statement once when I was much younger. He said, "Ah, oh, festivals are so messy. It's always mm. bad sound." Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. Now, as I do it now, I realize that's so true. Yeah. But you just need to get it good enough for it to, you know. Yeah. Kind of sound yeah. Good. I, think, I think the quality that you get for a, a corporate event is, is really is top notch. Top notch. Really, yeah, yeah. We don't want to notice anything to do with sound. Yes. We just want smoothness all the way through, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's the level that we're teaching here at the course. We're trying to talk mm. about how do you get it clean at those events. Because uh, yeah. you probably work corporate before you do festival. Yes. You know, yes. and you make more money in corporate than you mm. do in festival. In festival, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Uh, so because they they just believe in paying more anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. corporates will always want to just to make sure that everything is exactly. good and they pay and for it. Yeah, and if you get it perfect, mm. they will want you next time. Yeah. Um Because they don't want any feedback or anything like that. Yeah. You know? uh, and these are smart people. Yeah. So, you know, you got you got to give yeah. them a good sound. So, yeah, so that's what we're teaching at this course. Yeah. Amazing, man. Yeah, man. Pretty people much. sign up for this course. Mm. I believe it's the best course that you can get uh, in Malawi. I've never heard about people doing sound engineering as a course mm. Mm. to learn about it. But I, f- I feel like um, at a time such as this, and I always emphasize on the, on the employment part. Yeah. So many young people are just moving up and down in town. Yeah. yeah uh, true. Doing awkward things Very because true. they don't have, they don't think about um, how they can learn a skill and that mm. skill can change their lives. Exactly. They're busy chasing papers. Yes, chasing papers is good, but there are times when you know that you don't have money for you to go and get those papers. Mm, mm. And you can just, you you have access to a 200,000, 100,000. Yeah. You can invest in a skill that is guaranteed in terms of the return of the investment. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I saw when I saw your poster, you advertising about this event. Mm-hmm. So I hope people come. Um, I hope you take advantage. You seize the moment. You take advantage of that. Yeah. So as we're closing, yeah. I want to ask you a few questions around uh, around challenges mm. uh, in the space. Mm. I know we've spoken a couple of things already uh, around what is an issue. Yeah. But when you're, when you're in this space, um, it's quite a new space. There are very few of you who are, let's mm. say, gurus mm. who are managing the space. What are the challenges uh, in the space? Is it people not paying you? Um, I think people not paying is, <laughs> is less and less of a challenge now. Okay. Uh, because, um, obviously, because the demand is really high uh, for myself uh, and a few like me, yeah. uh, people are willing to pay you in advance to make sure mm. that they secure you. They secure their you, yeah. And stuff like that, yeah. Um, but the big challenge now is finding uh, people that you can work with Mm. that can understand the standard that you're trying to, to, to do and achieve. Yeah, That's actually the biggest challenge. Uh, I've been training so many people under me. Mm. Um, only very few have actually made it through to the other end to yes. say that, okay, I can trust this guy and really mm. work with them. Because mm. uh, right now where we are in Malawi is that most Malawians are realizing since we've made my TV and so on, or mm. Kunja and so on, we can do it here. Yeah, And now I'm looking for people in the uh, visual side of things, in the audio side of yeah, things, yeah. in stage building, mm. uh, design mm. uh, for mm. stage, graphics for stage, mm. uh, stuff like that for the live world. Yeah. Who can really step up and really like make uh, this not just about sound, for example, make it a show, make yeah. it a production. Yeah, make it a yeah. production that um, feels like that. Yeah, because that's something I'm trying to get into and, mm. and, and I've been into uh, that we're trying to make make this thing a production yes fine great yeah. you can sound engineer you can tune the mic well mm. done but what are people going to see when they get to that show yeah. that's going to impress them beyond good sound yeah you know so from a technical aspect where we're looking for people like that mm. uh, in malawi yeah and if there's somebody out there who thinks they can do something to contribute on something like that mm. um i'm open um yeah. find me on my facebook page find me on the sound addicts page uh yeah. talk to me we're looking for people like that. Um, mm. That's the biggest challenge because 
every show of conscious say, okay, yeah, you know, because there are so many people, yeah. And, and sometimes enough, yeah. You, you have to, you can be on a holiday, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, with your wife somewhere, and then you should be able to be at a place where you said, okay, okay, I have a team, yeah, they can, they do, can this do it exactly, completely. and they can do it mm. without you necessarily being there, yeah. Or yeah. even in other words, I want to make money without being there, you know, it is uh, what it is, <laughs> and that's what it is, and that's what you have to do yeah, as you yeah. grow when yeah. you grow in the space, yeah, it's about making sure that you are going to a level where you are creating you're creating multipliers so yeah, say. of course yeah people who yeah. can do it yeah uh, where you're not there but yeah. they can be able to increase yeah uh, I think your cause, cause even even for our clients and generally for consumers of great sound mm. once they see that uh, there's a bigger better team mm. they're willing to pay for more they're willing to pay for yeah, more because um, you tell them they'll go fine uh, if you want me to give you the top three engineers mm. uh, who are at this level you have to pay for you have more. to pay this you know, much uh, okay at this level I can give you this yeah, much because it's going to guarantee you someone great on stage someone yes. great on the front of the house yeah. and someone great to yeah. manage your artist and whoever uh, who is about mm. to go on stage or, mm. or even before the show yeah uh, so things like that you know um yeah. That's something that we need, um, man. You don't know what you say. What you that, that what you're saying now is what I've been. That's why I have this podcast. Honestly, mm. is to tell people to know the importance of um, which skills you need to venture into mm. that they can give you uh, an advantage to connect to plug in in a space. Yeah. And if someone would see this and is clever enough, would say, "Okay, fine. What are those spaces again? Yeah. Okay, the light. Okay, this. Okay, the production. Okay, the design. Mm. Okay, fine. Mm. And they're gonna venture in that. Yeah. And they know that there is a space where they can plug into, mm -hmm. and that's where you get the value. Yeah, true, true. Than true. just to be in spaces where you're not sure what is happening and just jumping up and down. I'll give the example of Ketwayo. Uh, yeah, that guy. Lighting operator. Uh, he's a lighting designer, I should say. Yeah. Um, he, when, of course, I'm, I've known him for a while, but mm. when I when I discovered that he does lights, mm. um, he would just set it up, you know, do one, two things and so mm. on and so on. And I saw that, you know, there was a certain taste and mm. something that he was doing that looked yeah. like there's a, there's a skill in here. Mm. And I told him, you know what? You, you really need to invest in this thing mm. 100%. Yeah. You really need to get what's going on with this thing because trust mm. me, in a year or two from now, mm. you and me are going to be like this, you yeah. know, because I'm doing sound, you're doing lights, and, yeah. and it's going on great. Yeah. You know, right now, honestly, I cannot do a festival where it's not present. That's the thing. If he's That's not present, thing. then the lights aren't great, you know. Uh, That's the thing. No offense I've, to everybody I've never else seen him. At a, uh, like, every time I see him, I know that you are there. Because most likely I've called him there and yeah. I've recommended him there. Yeah. Because I trust it's going to look good. And no, no, no. Good, has... sounds good. Everybody thinks everything's great, you know. So it makes you look yeah. good. And true. And true. Yeah. Because the sound without the, all the that visuals ambience and all, and all that, that, it doesn't go it doesn't together. Go, it has yeah. to come together as everything going well. If it goes that if if you see that the screens are showing low battery in the computer, everybody ah, now doesn't care about the good sound. They're just looking at the screen like, saying what? low battery. You know, you something know, is hanging. Some screens do that. Yeah. yeah. And if if the lights are, 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 are you know or facing not, everywhere else, yes, but the they're not responding face. to to the to, to the music exactly. And they move the emotion uh, that you yes. created with your reverbs and effects and Jan Jan is come and then you know you can't see. The face of the artist and how he's also portraying the emotion. Nobody yeah. cares, you know. Man, I, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm not in this space, but I see a lot of opportunity here. There is, yeah, uh, there is. There really I is. see a lot of opportunity. People yeah. see this moment, learn, plug in, be mm. part of the um, be part of this network, yeah. uh, the value chain, as yeah. you call the it, value chain, supply yeah. chain or whatever, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that you can be you can add value somewhere, yeah, uh, and yeah. be part of this thing. Yeah. Man, this is good. This is good. But yeah, yeah as you growing, mm. I know you're thinking about building teams and they're like mm. how do you want people to remember your answer this is my last question always i always right. pose this question because i feel like people be like ah, you don't you don't ask people who are not that old you need to ask <laughs> them how are you gonna be able to I, 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 I think i've i've already been remembered as a guy <laughs> in blue shorts <laughs> Yes. In flip flops. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But but as you're growing, you're building what you're building. Because yeah. I remember the time that we met. You you mm. never had something like this. Yes, yes. Uh, the studio is amazing. Thank you. I yeah. know the sound that comes here is always guaranteed. Wow, it's you. nice. I've heard yeah. of, of sounds, yeah, right? Yeah. I know a couple of guys that are just just depend on um uh a few a few uh, plugins and the like. Yeah, but yeah. I know I know the sound that comes from here. Yeah. As yeah. guaranteed, right? Yeah. Uh so how would you want people to remember your ass? 
Um, because you people always hate the space, but people always you go. Yeah, you, you will retire. Go. We'll definitely retire or, 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 or you die. die. At some point in time, man. Yeah, that's what happens. But how would you want people to remember you, as man? Um, I mean, I, 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 I would love to be remembered as the trainer of people. To be honest, yeah. um, I always love seeing uh, taking someone and you know growing their passion in this thing as much as I have the passion for it. Mm. Uh, for example, um, before I started being paid anything in this thing, I would still put in as much effort. Mm. Uh, and my mom would ask, like, you know, why do you bother why with this thing? Well, they don't pay you. Last time, Mr. Asana would be there, and so on and so on. Mm. And uh, even earlier, when, when I first got married, my wife would make similar comments. Uh, but... <laughs> I didn't ask about that. Pat. Yeah, most people don't but, get it's, it's the passion within. It's uh, interesting. You have to have the passion for this, and I, 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 the training for me is actually teaching people the passion for this thing, or growing mm. their passion for this thing, or mm. discovering their passion for this thing. Mm. Um, and then eventually they come out and they're great. For me, it's just full satisfaction. Yeah. And if they, if they remember me as somebody who's been bringing out people's passion and mm. teaching them uh, passion for sound and that kind of thing, yeah. that would be you know a plus for me. Yeah. Amazing, man. Amazing. I, I really enjoyed uh, talking to you. Yeah. I know we've been talking about this chat for a long time, yeah. but I'm so happy that we have had this moment to talk about it. Uh, I know that you're preparing for your course, uh, the yeah. training, yeah. but I know that there's a lot that's coming on your way mm -hmm. um, in terms of what you do. You're building something bigger. <laughs>